Hi guys, bargain store project time again. Uh, bought these polystyrene plates uh, quite a few projects back. I can't remember which one it was, but I tried to make a hovercraft with them. Um, so I've already got those. So I bought some polystyrene cups to go with them, or insulated foam cups as it says on there, in my local pound shop, 50 for a pound. So I'm looking to use a couple of them, and probably a few of those, and I pulled this fan and electric motor out of a hair dryer. So um, I'm going to have another go at making a hovercraft. I don't know why I keep trying, because I'm really not very successful with it. And this feels quite heavy, so I think I'm possibly on a loser before I start. But I'm going to make more of an effort to get the airflow right. So hopefully this fan blade may be a better blade to get the air going. And I'm going to make more of a tube, to act, or a venturi, to funnel the air into the base of the hovercraft. That's what I'm going to use the plastic cups for. So we will see as we go along. These two metal frames are the mountings for the electric motor from the hair dryer. They should spread the load nicely around the rim of the uh, polystyrene. Right, I've cut one of the cups to fit, so the fan blade goes inside. I'm using the metal brackets and I've just cut that strip of foam from one of the plates. I'm going to wrap it round and hot glue it all in place to give us a tube for the air to flow down. Right, got my fan and my motor glued into my plastic tube. Plastic tube glued onto the plate, or into the plate, cut a hole in the middle. If I just uh, connect a battery to it, uh, the right way round. So we have lift off with a 9 volt battery external. What I want to try and do is see whether I can boost it up to 18 volts with two 9 volt batteries and actually mount them on the dish because at the moment it's trying but it's not getting off the ground so I'll try two decent 9 volt batteries connect them together and see if I can get it to lift off the off the table Right, we're not going to bother with technical things like an on-off switch. All I've got is two bits of wire here that I'll twist together. The batteries are not glued in place, they're just sitting there loosely. Let's see what happens. So there we go. Success. Well, I'm pleased with that. 
I think the main difference between this hovercraft and the previous one that I made with the polystyrene plate um, is with this one I've been very careful with the tube that the air is blowing down. With the previous one I had a great big hole and a very big fan blade and if I actually held my hand over the top of the fan blade I could hear here, I could feel some of the air was actually coming back through the top rather than being directed out underneath. Whereas with this tube that I've made it's very difficult for any air to escape back up through that tube. It's all being directed down so it's very focused. Plus the fact it's a good fan blade and it's a pretty strong electric motor I've got in there and I'm running it with 18 volts, two 9 volt batteries. So I suppose summary time. Uh, pound shop project, this must be number 32. Uh, what's the pound shop item? Sorry, bargain shop item, but it has to be under a pound. We can either call it the plate. Uh, that was Twenty plates for a pound, or we can call it the cup, and the cup was fifty cups for a pound. Either way, the actual amount that I've used, one plate out of twenty, would make it what's that? Five pence, or the plastic cup, fifty in a pound. That's two pence. Oh, truth is I've used two plates because that tube is made out of a strip cut from a plate. So that's 12 pence. Uh, the batteries, uh, they also came from a pound store. Normally I buy them two for a pound. Uh, in truth, this time these ones were a little bit more expensive. They were a pound each. Um, and the electric motor has come out of a hairdryer. So um, we've got a bit of recycling there and we've got our uh, bargain store project complete and working. I'm pleased with that one. So job done. Success. Finally, that's my best hovercraft yet. Just give it a traditional test run in my kitchen.